Uh, listen, this is all a process, definitely. It is a process. Uh, what I wanted to ask you now, listen to me carefully. Vocabulary, of course, is important. And while you practice, you will separate it. But what I want to know is. Uh, which one did you read? The Coral Reefs of Agati Island? Is yes. This? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the two first paragraphs only. Okay. So it was extremely difficult, right? For you. Not extremely, but it were, uh, uh, there was, uh, it wasn't that easy. Okay. Okay. Um, my question is, were you able to understand the article to some extent? Meaning, were you able to connect it a little bit, even if you didn't know exactly? Meaning yeah. of the words or not? Yes, to a certain extent. Okay, this is important because this is what you're gonna need to use either way. Or no mm -hmm. matter if you learn two hundred new words, five hundred, one thousand. Okay, that's already a lot. But uh, no matter how many words you learn, you will always still have to rely on your ability to understand the article out of a context. Okay, so keep yeah. that in mind always. Now, uh, another thing is I did send this too late and you didn't, you weren't focused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the things that you also need to learn how to do. Uh, and this is how I would like you to do it. Now I've sent you th th the first three so I can keep track what I'm sending you and everything. But then again, uh, regardless, this is some of the IELTS text. So there's no reason why they shouldn't give you something in this, uh, uh, something like this. But what I would like you to do in the future when you read it is once, well, of course, once you are more focused and you have more time, read it once without new vocabulary. So read it just to read it and to see if you get the gist of it. The gist meaning the general idea, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. This I've is important. Hmm? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, and you, this uh, coral reefs, you've read it like that. I, I read uh, A and B. Just A and B. Okay. So maybe start with this. It doesn't have paragraphs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have uh, numbers, but it's more um, common. Maybe try with that. It's still new okay. vocabulary, uh, but the idea is you need to be able to understand the general idea also. Okay, and you need to learn how to read by using words that are, are familiar to you and meaning to understand certain words out of a context rather than from dictionary. Okay? Yeah. Okay. But don't get me wrong. Once you read it for the first time to get the general idea, then you can read it to take out the vocabulary. Okay, so don't skip on vocabulary. It's just Practicing to understand the general idea. Of it, okay? okay. So today we're not going to do this because you've already uh, have it in your email. You're going to do it still for homework. Okay. But for next week, maybe already on Friday, we will see what they say. Be careful that what you write fits grammatically with the other words in the sentence and is spelled correctly. So mm -hmm. grammatically means you cannot put adjective if they need adverb you cannot put verb if they need a noun so you need to clarify which is which and to listen carefully now before we listen i'm gonna give you time to read because we are practicing okay if you don't have to try to avoid asking me anything try to now practice this out of a context to connect with given words what they are talking about all right you can tell me when to scroll the screen down to give you other what does dormus mean? Okay. Okay, what do you think it means? Uh, given this, what do you assume it could be? Dormus, there is dor, there is dormus and dormis. Okay. So you clearly never heard of mouse and mice. I did heard of mouse and mice. So this is what I'm telling you, connect it. Ah, dormus. And do, do mice. Okay. Yeah. So it's I was a type about... of an animal, similar mm -hmm. to a mouse, but it's dormouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it the same mouse, but it's the bigger one? No, I think it's a little. Well, you will actually, <laughs> interestingly enough, we will listen what is a dormouse. <laughs> the whole uh, listening section is about the dormouse. But no, it's a type of a small, small animal, uh, literally uh, from a family of mice. You see? Mm. 
Okay. It's not a mouse, it's Dormouse. And actually, let's listen about it. You will actually learn a new animal, okay? But what I need you, this is why I told you, try to connect uh, all the knowledge you have already. So it's not only about vocabulary, okay? IELTS is also, not only IELTS, any language, it's also about testing you how much you can connect. So Dormouse, you should have uh, picked it up from numbers have fallen. Okay, something there with numbers. Dormice are about as heavy. So uh -huh, it's weight, they can wait. You're most likely to have seen, so aha, uh -huh, you can see it. Obviously, it's a physical thing. In the UK, mm. Dormice probably live in hedges and woods, right? Because they live yeah. in hedges and woods, this should have been a clue. Aha, uh -huh, it's probably an animal. Right. Yeah, I, it came to my mind that it's a, an animal or pet or something like this that. This is important. So use this instinct uh, connections you have just to give yourself an idea. It will be clear even when you read it, but okay. All right. Now, questions 15 to 17. Label the identification sheet below. Write the correct letter A to E next to questions 5 to 8. So you have identification sheet. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. Okay. Mm. You have A, B, C, D, E. Now you can see that this is some kind of an egg or a nut, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have numbers opened by wood mice, opened by voles, opened by dormice. Mm -hmm. so, there is something called wood mice also. Yeah, they are different to animals and you will see later on in the text. They will describe... Uh, you will actually you will listen to it. and questions 18 to 20 complete the summary below using no more than one word in each space okay and you can read it now just to see what you should fill if you find nuts are uh, opened by door mice 18 where you found them put them into some kind of and blank them name and address Post them to action for wild uh, life. Okay. Wildlife, exactly. Okay. You want, okay. So, and you can see in this if you find nuts opened by door mice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You should be able to connect. Ah, the previous picture are nuts, and you need to identify which one is opened by door mice. Right? So okay. use all the information from the questions to give some kind of an idea and picture and to help yourself while you read it, okay? Okay. All right, now we're gonna start. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me just check the sound. Section two. Can you hear it? You will hear a woman talking on the radio. Huh? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay about a project to conserve dormice in one area of the UK. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. You use this time to check the questions again. Okay. Now listen carefully and answer questions 11 to 14. Good morning, and welcome to our weekly program about countryside matters. With me today, I have Jackie Lamerton. Jackie works for the nature organization Action for Wildlife and she's appealing for volunteers for a project she's organizing. So if you think you might be willing to help, please listen carefully. Jackie. Thank you. Yes, as you've just heard, I represent a charity called Action for Wildlife, which works to protect plants and animals. And I'm here today to talk about a project to save a type of mouse known as a dormouse. We can still find the dormouse in this area, but in the last few decades, the number of dormice has seriously declined, not just in this country, but across the world. There are several reasons for this. Loss of habitat, climate change, competition for food. And this area of the UK is now regarded as one of the last strongholds. So naturally, we want to help the creature to survive here as much as we can. The aim of the first stage of our project is simply to identify specific locations where dormice are still to be found and estimate the number we have here. So I'll just tell you a little bit about the creature in case you don't already know. The dormouse is a very attractive, very small mammal. It only weighs about the same as a couple of pound coins. It's bright golden in color 
and it has a thick furry tail and big black eyes. Now, you've probably all seen a picture of a dormouse, but you're very unlikely to have seen a real one because they're strictly nocturnal. Also, they hibernate from October to April, so it's not around at all for about half the year. So where is the dormouse to be found? Well, dormice need to be near a variety of trees and plants so they can be sure of a continuous supply of food throughout the spring and summer. They feed on flowers, pollen, fruit, insects, ripe nuts, things that are available in turn as the summer progresses. Here in the UK, the dormouse is most likely to live in places like hedgerows or woods or at the edges of farmland. So how do we find out exactly where dormice are? Well, as they're hard to spot, as I said, we have to use indirect methods. Instead of trying to see dormice themselves, we look for evidence of dormouse activity. Dormice eat hazelnuts, so we'll be looking for the shells that dormice have opened to get at the nut inside. A lot of wildlife species eat hazelnuts. It's not just dormice. But it's usually possible to tell which particular animal has opened a nut by looking at the marks on the shells. So now, for those of you who would like to help us carry out this survey, let me tell you exactly what to do. You'll need to get an identification sheet like this from us. Then you should spend time looking for hazelnut shells in the bottom of hedgerows or on the ground in woodlands. Before you hear the rest of the talk... Okay. Okay. How was it? Uh, I got a three out of four. The first one is dormouse number have fallen across the world as well as in the UK. Mm -hmm. The second one dormice are about as heavy as two pound coins. Very good. The third one I could I couldn't get it. You are most likely to have seen a dormouse in variety of I didn't, I couldn't hear it properly. Okay, okay, we'll skip it. I'll, I'll variety of, I'll write it down. And? Uh, in the UK, dormice probably live in hedges, hedges and wood and next to the edges of farmland. Aha, uh -huh. okay, good, but next to and the edge are technically the same here. So you should be just, your answer should be a next to farmlands. Oh, okay. You understand? Mm. Okay, great.